Hello, everyone. GSCNU Seeking is a Pokemon that exists. Seeking is a very uncommon pick and something most people wouldn't even know is viable. That is where I come in. When I made my GSCNU Pupitar video six months ago, that video actually boosted the popularity of Pupitar and GSCNU. At that time, people had forgotten about it and my video made people remember. I want to do something similar with this video. I've been experimenting with Seeking recently, and I think it has a legitimate niche. It's a very specific pick, but it is mildly threatening. Let's get into Seeking's niche. Seeking's stats are very average, and its move pull isn't particularly big. Within that small move pull, though, is Sword Stance. Seeking is a Sword Stance user whose water typing grants her resistances to water and ice. Seeking's 92 attack stat is actually quite high, and Hidden Power Ground plus a strong normal move gets the job done coverage-wise. The main thing holding Seeking back is Kingler, who almost entirely outclasses it. Kingler is another water type with Sword Stance, except its attack stat is much higher. Kingler is just way more threatening than Seeking is. It's easier to tear teams apart when using Kingler, and it's better at sweeping teams. As such, Kingler is almost entirely better than Seeking. Kingler used to be among the most popular Pokemon in the metagame, so Seeking was an afterthought. However, you can pair Seeking with Kingler. Seeking is used alongside Kingler as essentially a mini Kingler. Plus, it's not as if Kingler 100% outclasses Seeking. Seeking does have some advantages. Seeking's two primary advantages are better special defense and access to agility. Seeking's higher special defense gives it a superior matchup against special attackers, in particular Zatu. Zatu is a pain in the ass for Kingler, but Seeking doesn't mind it that much. Zatu's psychic never 3 KO Seeking, and Hidden Power Electric only has a 12% chance to do so. Seeking is also less threatened by Hidden Power Electric Octillery, Magmar, and Growth Flareon. The improved Zatu matchup is big, because Zatu is the single biggest problem Kingler faces. Agility is another advantage Seeking has. After using an agility, Seeking outspeeds everything in GSCNU. This makes it much more difficult to revenge kill. Pokemon like Statler, Fero, and Zatu could outspeed and threaten Seeking, but after an agility, it's the other way around. Seeking makes for a surprisingly effective Double Dance user. It helps that Dugtrio, a premier late game cleaner, can't do much to stop Seeking from setting up late game. If Seeking manages to get a Sword Stance and Agility off, it's a big threat. Seeking 2 KOs most of the tier after a Sword Stance. Seeking has a 76% chance to 2 KO Weezing with boosted Hidden Power Ground. Seeking can use Double Edge or Return for its normal move. Double Edge is the stronger of the two, but the recoil is an unpleasant side effect. Double Edge doesn't have the recoil, but the lower power can sting at times. I like Return more, personally. Double Edge shucks on a sweeper like Seeking. Leftovers is, of course, the item, because it's GSC. I think you want Leftovers more than Miracle Berry for the longevity. Hidden Power Ground is needed for Weezing, as well as Fire Types and Rock Types. Seeking, like Kingler, is a Sword Stance user that sets up all over Dugong and Ice Beam Octillery. This is a great niche to have, considering both are prominent tanks. Seeking can also set up on Resting Ninetales and Rapidash. Seeking's main niche in GCNU is that of a mini Kingler, so of course, Kingler is typically seen with it. As a Seeking partner, Kingler can either run its substitute Hidden Power Ground set, or it can run Hidden Power Rock. Seeking can run Weezing in and Tibakiawa with boosted Hidden Power Ground, which Hidden Power Rock Kingler especially likes. Seeking can also lure in and KO Zatu, which helps Kingler out. Seeking in general can break holds in teams for Kingler to sweep late game. Running two water types without rest has its issues though, so be sure to prepare for them. Pokemon with electric moves, like Chinchou and Magnemite, are more difficult to switch into, so using a Pokemon like Gloom or Rest Hawk Statler is smart. Normal types can outspeed and threaten the water types, so using a rock type like Graveler and Sunawudo is a good idea. Primeape can also outspeed and threaten the waters, so Weezing, Gloom, or Fero are favourable partners. Weezing is annoying for Seeking and Kingler, so Ninetales, Graveler, or Sudowoodo are helpful. Seeking and especially Kingler appreciate Paralysis, so Paralysis spreaders, like Porygon and Gloom, are nice partners. 
Zato is still quite annoying for a Kingler, so using a check to it like Ninetales, Dugong, or Magnemite isn't bad. Yeah. Running Sea King and Kingler on the same team comes with a number of problems. There are a few builds with the duo that aren't shit. Sea King has its own issues beyond being a lesser Kingler. Its bulk isn't very good, with most of the stronger offensive Pokemon 3 hit KOing it. Persian, Fero, and Statler all outspeed and 3 hit KO Sea King unless it manages to get an agility off, and that isn't a guarantee considering Sea King's bulk. It also hates status, particularly paralysis. Getting paralysed by Weezing's thunder is a depressing feeling. Seeking, before setting up, is pretty darn weak. Seeking can lack power when compared to Kingler. Unless Seeking gets two or even three sword stance boosts, it struggles to one hit KO much, meaning the opponent can play around it. Seeking even faces competition as a mini Kingler. Oftentimes, it's better to use something like Statler as a physical sweeper alongside Kingler. Statler is more consistent than Seeking and easier to fit on teams. It should be noted that Seeking is underexplored in the current meta game. It might have more potential than I went over today. I doubt it's more than a niche B minus tier Pokemon though.